Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have a different kind of haul video that we're gonna do today. This isn't all stuff that we sourced from one or two stores. Kathy has been sourcing this stuff from multiple stores and this is just the stuff that we're working on getting listed over the next week. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy and let her explain the rest. Hey guys, yeah, so it's mostly shoes that you can see. Um, they're from various locations, mostly sourced in the last week, but we did have some bin of shoes in our living room that we've gotten cleaned, and I don't think I've shared those shoes in any other haul, so I did add them to here, so yeah, I'll mention that as I go through them. So anyways. It's yeah. possible you might see something that you've seen before, yeah. but this is more the stuff that we're working on getting listed over the next week. Yep, and then Along just wanted to share with yeah, along with you that guys stuff. just to, in case you see something you like, you can go check our stores for it. So I'll start with clothes, um, just a small amount of clothes. Um, our Once Upon a Child actually just remodeled. So our clothes mentor shut down. They were right next door to each other and Once Upon a Child took over their space. So they knocked down the wall in between and now they're really big. Like I'm excited because their store before it was so small and it was just hard to even get yeah. through the aisles. So I'm really happy about that. Anyways why I told you that story is because I went yesterday because it was their grand reopening so found this it's a Remy girl romper so this is the tag and I've never found this brand at any sort of thrift or buy sell trade store before I've only like sold one piece that I got in a mystery bundle from them so uh, this is just a girl's leotard and it's a size four five it does I'm not sure how much it's gonna sell for but I'm thinking 25 30 bucks on that Oh, I'm gonna move this. Yeah. Let me show you guys these things really <laughs> the, the, fast. So this is kind goods. of, yeah. So I found this, as I was checking out at Goodwill, this was kind of like behind the register. Um, and it is new, unopened and everything like that. And I've seen other people do well with toothbrushes and like things that everyone needs. Mm -hmm. um, so I asked the guy if I could see it and I just scanned the barcode and saw that it was selling for you know, between 60 to like $80 plus shipping. And if you didn't know that you can scan a barcode on eBay, we've mentioned before, but we probably have new viewers. So in your eBay app, you would just click this little camera guy. I do think some people say they don't have that on theirs and I don't know why that mm. is. So if you don't have that, I'm sorry. But yeah, once you click that, you just point it at it. And then, so these are listed. So obviously listed and sold are different. Let me switch over to sold. Yeah, so March 14th, one sold for 80 plus ship. Uh, March 12th, one sold for 71 plus ship. February, one sold for 63 plus ship. So probably looking at $70 or so on this. And I did pay up for this, but I definitely think I'll still make a good profit and hopefully pretty quickly. Worst case scenario, we have some brand new electric toothbrushes, right? Yeah. <laughs> for a decent price, <laughs> yep. if it doesn't sell. <laughs> and then this, I showed on my Instagram story a few weeks ago, so it's not a brand new sourced item, but we just had it downstairs. We were debating keeping it for our kids or not, but we found out that we can play it online, right? So, yeah, I think there you could play it for free online, and yeah. the kids each have their own iPads, and I think you could play it multiplayer that way, so we figured so that would just that, be easier. And then, yeah, the game itself is worth like $50, even pre-owned, so that's why I want to sell this. I mm -hmm. only paid a few dollars for it. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And we, it took a while to like count up all the pieces and everything. Yeah. So if you ever see this game, Cash Flow for Kids, it's the Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki guy. Yeah. Um, it's a game and yeah. it goes for a good amount. If you find it in new on open condition, it goes for like 80, 90 bucks. So bolo. <laughs> all right, back to the clothes. So this is another, I just like selling Hawaiian shirts, the Hello, Hattie, or however you say that. Uh, we had a viewer sell us how, and I can't remember. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're so bad at pronunciations and grammar and English and all that. <laughs> Good thing we don't need to know that to resell online. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and everything spell checks itself for, yeah. us for the most part. Um, but yeah, I like selling Hawaiian shirts. This brand has done well for me, so if I find it cheap, I pick it up. So this is a men's XL. The last one I sold last week sold for like 20 plus shipping, but I'm probably gonna list this at like 25 or so plus ship and then take offers or send offers. 
This is just a Nebraska Huskers sweatshirt, and funny enough, I did not find this in Nebraska. I found <laughs> it here in Colorado. Um, it is, I believe it's vintage. It does say made in the USA. It looks like an older tag. But I've been seeing a lot of sellers mention um, just college sweatshirts are selling right now, so I'm going to take a chance. The same day I found a couple like Michigan State or something ones, but those were like full of bleach stains, so... I'm gonna try this one, see how it does, and if it does well, sells fast, I'm thinking I could get at least 30, maybe plus shipping for that. And if it sells quickly, I'll keep looking out for more. Uh, this is a Nike polo. I thought this was, when I first saw it on the rack, I was like, oh, that's probably Polo Ralph Lauren, mm -hmm. but it was Nike, which I thought was interesting, because to me, this isn't really like a sportswear type of thing, but anyways, this yeah. is the back. And Looks more like European up, sport. <laughs> Yeah, so when I looked it up, this had something to do with yeah. LeBron James, I believe it was. Huh. So, yeah, I mean, Nike stuff in general is pretty much a bread and butter, I would say. And then this was a unique piece, so I decided to give it a chance. And we'll see how that goes. Hoping to get around $25, $30 plus shipping on that. Uh, this is The Mountain. I just like selling these shirts. They don't sell for a ton. I'll get probably around 20 bucks on that but I just like them. Uh, this is a size medium. The Nike was an XL. And you guys know I like selling men's like board shorts, swim trunks. So I always try to look for the ones that have some stretch to them. So these are just some O'Neill size 36. And I'll probably get about 20 plus shipping on those. Right, got some Tommy Bahama jeans. So I've stopped picking up most Tommy Bahama things. I was watching this video the other day though, um, Thrift of Life. Mm. So I've recently stumbled across his channel. It just showed up in our feed and <laughs> I was like, oh, it was the first video I saw of his was like so many men's brands or something men's brands to sell. And right. I love selling men's wear. So I was like, oh, let me see if he mentions anything I don't already know about. And obviously I know about Tommy Bahama, but he did mention so my love about his channel is he tells you the sell-through rate on these things. So Tommy Bahama jeans, I think, was like a hundred or over a hundred percent sell-through rate, which pretty good I chance think, you'll yeah. sell in the first month, right? Yeah, and so I've only sold one other pair of Tommy Bahama jeans that were like Chris's old jeans, mm -hmm. and those did sell really fast. So I would have, Reese, <laughs> I would have picked them up regardless of not seeing this guy's video. But yeah, uh, it definitely made me pick them up because yeah. I saw it. So if you haven't seen his channel, definitely check it out. And I think he recently released like a big bolo guide. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for bolo information, seems to be, we haven't really looked at it ourselves, but it seems to be a really good place to start if you're yeah. looking. And he does, I think, exclusively menswear. So, yeah. and I, I prefer menswear to women. So yeah. it, I like his channel a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is another pair of O'Neill board shorts. And again, probably about 20 plus ship. These are a size. 36. Uh, these are just some women's Under Armour like running shorts. They do have the liner in them. They're a size medium. These are again just bread and butter sales. They're really cheap at the thrift so I like to pick them up. I make $10, $15 profit. Those will probably sell around $20. All right. This is a pair of men's Under Armour golf shorts. So these usually sell really well for me. Nothing fancy but mm -hmm. people need them. People are starting to go golfing, and these are like $80 if you buy them new, so I can probably get 25, 30 bucks for them on eBay. And these are a size 38. All right, and then, yeah, I've just been looking for a lot of shorts and stuff lately. It doesn't have to be a fancy brand to make money. Um, this is, I believe these are vintage. I don't see a date anywhere, but just based on Polo Jeans Co., just this tag. This tag, I think they're vintage, but uh, yeah, they're a men's 44. So I did not look up comps, I just grabbed <laughs> them because I'm sure I could get 25 30 bucks plus shipping out of those. And we'll, we obviously look up comps on things that we're not yeah. too sure about I mean, as we're listing. These were half, these were like three dollars, yeah. so it's like at the very least, I'll get 20 dollars plus ship. I know, mm -hmm. like, I'm almost positive, so. Yeah, I don't look up stuff when I'm going to spend like two bucks. So this is a new to me brand. Let me know if you've heard of it. Shredly. So these are actually in the men's, but these are women's. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I 
the reason I looked them up is because they're like padded like bike type shorts mm -hmm. and I know that kind of stuff can do well because people ride their bikes and yeah. it doesn't feel good to not have any sort of padding <laughs> when you do um but yeah so I just decided to look them up and I also saw it said made in the USA that's usually a good indicator of quality or at least expensive new yeah um, and yeah, these shorts, so I didn't see any like the padded ones like this, but they have printed like golf shorts and those are like retail, like 115 or something and wow. reselling for like 40 to 50 a pair. So again, these were like two something after yeah. the discount. So I know these are just the undershorts, not the printed ones that everyone can see, but I definitely think at the very least I'll get 20, hopefully mm -hmm. closer to 30 out of those. Oftentimes in sports and stuff like that, people are very brand loyal. They like their brand and they want everything by that brand. So yeah. it should be a pretty <laughs> so hopefully other fast seller them, yeah. if a lot of people like that <laughs> that brand, which we've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is just, a, again, bread and butter type stuff. This is a Nike Pro Combat tank top. It'll probably sell right around $20. Well, that is a men's size small. And then another Nike Pro Combat, some padded shorts. I don't know if are these like for football or just Probably football, yeah, just added padding. Yeah, so I've sold a similar type of thing like this, but it was new with tag, um, and they sold for a good amount and fairly quickly, so hopefully those do well. Got some Under Armour um, joggers. <laughs> <laughs> these are Under Armour Storm, so they do have that good stretch to them. They're just like a nicer material than a lot of. Like, I don't really like the polyester type track pants, but this kind of pant, it does really well. Uh, Posh Athletica, if you yeah. haven't seen her channel, inspired me to start looking in the athletic where I don't usually <laughs> check this section, and I feel like everything I'm showing you came from there. So, yeah. these are not the brands that I would say she would pick up or anything, but I just happened to find them because I looked there, and yeah, I don't think I found any women's stuff, which is funny. All right, these are some men's uh, Nike shorts, size XL, and I am seeing a stain that I missed in the store, but that's okay because they were pretty cheap. So, um, I did look up comps on these. I don't, I mostly because I wasn't sure if like this was the original color of them or if mm -hmm. somebody did like dyed them or something, and it looked like they were original. This was the color that Nike made them. So it does look quite faded, but you're saying yeah. that was intentional. Yeah. So. The comps were decent, so yeah. even with the stain, I think I'll do okay. I'll probably try to get it out, but it looks pretty set in. Uh, these are just some Levi's denim shorts, size 36. Nothing fancy, not vintage or anything, but I think I can get 20 plus shipping out of those. Um, this is not a brand I would normally pick up. I just thought I got these on clearance and the embroidery. Yeah, some um, cool Earl embroidery. jeans. I did sell them one other time, I think something I found at the bins, and it sold really fast, so I'll probably get at least 20 bucks plus ship out of them, and I'm okay with that. Right, so this is a Carhartt jacket that I way overpaid for for flipping purposes anyways, uh, but I can't leave this kind of stuff <laughs> at any store, so it is a boys uh, size medium, 10, 12. It's almost like in perfect condition. It's probably been worn like one time. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get like 50 or 60 out of this. And if I can't, I'll probably just keep it for my son because otherwise the profit's gonna be pretty low. But this is like 100%. Yeah, rate. that'll probably sell like very quick. 100% yeah. sell through rate, so. It'll sell probably within the first yeah. three days. So even if I make 10 bucks off it, that to me is still worth it. All right, we got this chaser tank top. Has like a sun and some stuff going on here. Some kind of astro astrological yeah. art. That's a that's cool. small. Yep, that's perfect time of year to find that. Um, this is something I've never sold before, and it's not really something that is my style or what I'd like to sell. But it reminded me of Saint John, and I know other people have mentioned mm. this brand, but exclusively Mizuk. Anyways, it's just like that heavy knit type set. Um, I definitely think it sells for less than St. John, but I think for this set I can get 40 or $50. So I'm going to list it. It's a size medium. 
And then these are a couple things I got on our Nebraska trip that I haven't listed yet, so I'm just gonna show them to you. They, so we got, we went to the Once Upon a Child on our trip back, which was after we did the haul video yeah. that we showed you guys of stuff, so. Which we recorded in our hotel before we left, so. Um, so this is just a Wildflowers bikini, and that is size six. And then I got a Kiki Pants Boys Fox Rumper, size six to 12 months. And then a little Kiki Pants outfit, size something. This one looks like an itty bitty, three to six month. So yeah, these Kiki ones usually sell 20 to 25 for me. I'm not sure about the Wildflowers bikini, I'll have to check into that, but at the very least I'd say 20 plus shipping. And then this is just sort of a random thing that I grabbed because it was cheap and it was sort of like a bundle deal that I was doing, so. Brand is Marker. Seems to be vintage. I don't know. I figured that somebody would want this, so hmm. I think I have like two dollars and some change into it. So I'll make something off of it. Not sure what. So yeah, that's all the clothes and random hard goods. Let's let's cut real quick. We'll move these clothes over and then we'll get to the shoes. All right, so then we'll just jump into shoes here. And yeah, we got these cool new racks just for free off um, our neighborhood page. Somebody was just getting rid of them. So we will put them to good use. Um, so I found these Ari Ariat. <laughs> Ari. I believe it's Ariat. <laughs> I like, know we do this every like time. Chariot, know, chariot, chariot, Ariat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I yeah. could be wrong. So these are just some really nice boots. Um, I'm not sure if they're still to or not, but they do say performant work boots. The soles were in great shape, so. Um, other boots that I've sold that were work boots from this brand, I've sold in the like $100 range, so hoping for something like that. Uh, got a pair of Salomon Gore-Tex hiking boots, so you can see they're a little dusty. I'm not sure if I'll clean them or not. People will buy these kinds of boots with the dust on them, so. Yeah. Uh, the lace is a little frayed, but that doesn't really affect much. These are a men's eight and a half or women's nine and a half. So we did sell a pair of Salomon Gore-Tex boots recently on Posh for 60 and they were pretty dusty and stuff as well. So at least that is kind of what I'm hoping at the very, very least I should get 50 plus shipping out of these guys. And if you're wondering how much we've spent on these, since this was all sourced at different uh, locations, it's harder for us to keep track. We do have it in our spreadsheet. Yeah. We do mention that stuff as we sell them on our what solds. Yeah. Um, so you can kind of get, you know, you can figure out our net <laughs> profits through our what solds on that. So. All right. So even though it's kind of not snow boot season, so these will probably won't sell for a few months, probably till September, October time. Uh, these were just too nice to pass up. They're North Face boots. They're really like almost like the Prima Loft type thing. The soles were in great shape. Everything looked good. So I grabbed them. They're women's nine. And I think I can get, again, minimum 50 bucks out of these. So these are some Timberland women's earth keepers. So these were actually in the men's section. So I think they were like on the half off. And I was like, how did these make it to half off? Like they're, <laughs> they look brand new. And I think it's yeah. just because they were in the men's and sure a woman wasn't looking in the men's section for shoes for herself so uh yeah i did not look up comps because of the price so i've done well with pretty much anything timberland that i've sold all right and then we got some little girls wonder woman boots these look like they came from macy's or bloomingdale's oh yeah macy's size 11 they still have this on them they honestly don't look worn mm. but thinking I can get around 20 bucks or so out of those. And then I got these little bugs at the Once Upon a Child reopening. And these will probably sell around 30 plus ship or so. Oh, these are a size four in fit. All right. Then you guys see me sell these all the time. I can't stop picking them up. They don't sell for a ton, but they sell around $30. Um, 25 to 30 plus shipping and these are a women's six and a half really good shape did I say that they were sketchers I don't think you mentioned okay. it but <laughs> they're sketchers sketchers <laughs> cool. so uh, this is kind of one I'm really excited to try out so new balance but these just looked really nice yeah those look um, good look at that sole I love <laughs> I don't know it just looks like a really good like hiking shoe or something 
Um, it's called the New Balance Trail Buster. So yeah, um, these are a men's 11 and I believe I looked up comps and they were going for like 70-ish plus shipping. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is a Crocs, like a, almost a nursing clog. I a haven't Crocs really, go? Yeah, sold this style. I have one listed, but the one I have listed is white and it's a size four and they're like kind of dirty looking. So I feel like these look almost new and might sell a lot quicker. And they're women's six. So I'm thinking. Is that an anti slip? Yeah, it does. Like, have a, the, like a bistro yeah. style. So these slip should resistance. hopefully get around $30 on those. Uh, this is a Clark. I can't remember what the style was called, but again, we don't always pick up Clarks. We pick them up if they're cheap, if they're an okay style. To me, this is not that cute. Like I wouldn't wear these, but I know people like these and anything with this gum sole, I always look up. Mm. And yeah, these were definitely going for like a, a normal crop or Clark like slip on or something. I would sell around 30, 25, 30 bucks. These I think were selling for a bit more than that, so see how it goes oh these were a women's 11 i believe yeah women's 11. Uh, so these are some kohan zero grands i've never found kohan zero grands before i always hear rally roots talking about them so we'll see how it goes i think the ones that they mostly sell are men's and these are women so maybe good maybe not we'll see uh, they are in really good shape so yeah i'm excited to try those out and I got these Teva mush, like wedge flip flops, and these are a women's aid, I believe. Yep. So these will probably go right around twenty bucks. All right. And I got these little vans, animal print, and it says animals are friends on those. And these are a toddler eight and a half. They'll probably sell about twenty-five to thirty. Um, these are just cheap so I didn't even look them up they're just L.L. Bean women's like a suede Mary Jane I don't know how much I'm gonna get for these <laughs> probably around 25 30 dollars and we got some ultra running shoes size eight and a half women's pretty good shape um there's some dirt on the bottoms that I'm gonna work out but other than that the tread's good everything's pretty good on those so I'm thinking about 40 or so plus shipping on those that's more Crocs. These are just like a open back slip on. Women's nine, probably sell around 25. So get two pairs here. So these are some little petty peds, um, which is just a leather baby shoe. These will probably sell 18 to 20. And then these are some Bionics that, I don't know what the style is. Um, but these are a size 9 and yeah, Bionics normally sell around 40 but these ones have a little bit of wear. I don't know if I want to go through the time to like put leather conditioning mm. and stuff. So if not, I think I can get at least 30 bucks out of those. Right, and this is another pair of Clarks. Nothing fancy, just a slip on flat. These are size 9. This is the kind of stuff though that like when I worked at my actual job and had to like wear stuff like this. Yeah. At least it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's not the cutest, but it is comfortable. All right, and these are some Allegria. Allegria. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are some open back clogs. They're a little dirty around the heel area, but otherwise the soles are good. Yeah, the suede leather is good, so uh, probably about 35, 40 bucks out of those. Are all Allegria's like shiny like that? Not all, I don't think so. I mean, they have different prints, like these ones are not, are really, oh, I guess yeah. these are a little shiny. We'll go show you these ones right now. So these Coming are also soon. Allegria's. <laughs> these are size 41. I thought these were interesting. Sorry, I made you go out of order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another pair of Skechers. These are navy blue, size seven and a half. Really good shape. Again, around thirty bucks on those. Uh, these I looked up because they were interesting. Oh Adidas yeah. Adidas Spring Blade. So. Look at those soles. <laughs> they're crazy. They're like little. Yeah. So they springs. weren't that cheap, but I think that it was worth paying up for. Um, I think these were selling around seventy dollars or so. Uh, these are a men's. 
12. We got some Doc Martin sandals. I've sold a few pairs of these in the like $70 range, so that's what I'm hoping for again. These are in like perfect shape too. They're a women's eight. So yeah, really cute. All right, got another pair of these Reeboks, like the, al is alloy steel or metal or what is alloy? Alloy means a mixture of different metals, so. These are alloy. It's got to be some kind of metal. I don't know yeah. if alloy Definitely applies like to non-metal. Definitely like a work shoe. Yeah. Um, and these are actually sized as both men's and women's on the tag. Men's six and a half, women's eight and a half. And yeah, they're in really good shape. Um, I think I can get at least $40 plus shipping out of those. Got a couple more baby shoes here. These little baby kids usually sell right around 20 for me. Cute. And then these little Crocs that are not super little. These are a youth <laughs> four. Um, these will probably sell around 20, 25. And we got some Crocs unicorn. Super cute. What size were those? Oh, those are a toddler girl nine. And these are some Nike Hirachi um, 11. Little kid 11. And we got these little baby Peanuts vans. So peanuts the cartoon? Five, yeah. Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown. Mm -hmm. Cool. So those will probably sell for 25, 30 bucks. Got another pair of Chacos. I think Chacos is in my like top 10 favorite shoes to sell, mainly in the sandals. Mm -hmm. Their sneakers have not done well for me. Their boots, hiking boots or sandals have done well. Uh, this is a new to me brand. It reminded me of Sketch a Shape Up. Oh, but... yeah. Shout out Joey Bada Bing 22. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can, we'll give you half off on these there, buddy. <laughs> so these are a women's seven. And yeah, these don't have the like super soft thing that right. the Shape Ups do. But I think the comps on these were around $50 or so plus shipping. So we'll see how that goes. They're in really good shape. They don't really look worn. We got some Nightmare Before Christmas vans. Oh, cool. These are 11 and a half little kid. They are a little bit faded on the black, but that's just how vans are. Um, and yeah, those I hope to get around retail, which I think was like 40 bucks. We'll see. Uh, these I wish were my kid size because these are like my favorite style of yeah, vans. Yeah, those are neat. Um, I think they're called like the, they're the skate high, but they're the MTE. Mm. I don't know. I just like them. So they're a youth three, so way off for our kids. So I'll just buy them for them when we need them. But <laughs> yeah, they're super dirty on the bottom. So I definitely have to clean these up. I just got them yesterday. So some of these I haven't cleaned yet. Most of them I have. On something like that, we would just kind of just fill up a bottom. little bit like a, a, not a bowl, but like a tray or something with a half an inch of water yeah, and, just set it and let there. them soak and then take a stiff bristle brush yeah. and scrub it out. Yep. So. After that happens, I hope to get 30 at least plus shipping out of those. Yeah, that way you don't get any of the fabric on the shoe wet. You can keep keep it pretty isolated. Uh, all right, so this is some Under Armour slide sandals, uh, size 11, little kit. And those will sell right about $20 free ship. All right, these are some Jordan. I can't remember which ones they were. Mm. I did look them up before I typed them in our spreadsheet, but I don't remember what they were called. <laughs> they are a men's ten and a half. I don't remember what the comps were either, <laughs> but pretty much most Jordans do okay. Uh, this Nike also was a good one, and I can't remember what it was called, but I think <laughs> these were... What do you mean? You couldn't memorize these 88 pairs of shoes? Come on. I don't know. I really don't know how people remember... Like sneaker people. Yeah. I mean, I guess I understand. Well, it's like, I know, different when it's a passion, right? Right. Like, I know other things mm -hmm. a lot that other people do. So, I don't know. I, I just don't <laughs> think I'll ever be into sneakers enough. I just look up ones that interest me. But, yeah, these were, I'm pretty sure, a good pair that should sell for a good amount. <laughs> Which I will tell you when they sell for how much <laughs> they sell for. Uh, mm. All right. We got some Echo handles so these are just comfort shoes people need them even though they're not the cutest thing in the world they do sell and then we got some vintage sorel boots 
These are a size seven. These are a women's 40, which I think is like a nine. Two finger, two fairs, two pairs of North Face hiking boots. So this one is a women's nine and a half. Look at this. And yeah. The inners, man, those are so, so. I mean, that's good. I mean, there's like an inch of padding in there on each side. Keeps your ankles secure when you're walking. But Jeez. Yeah, I did try to soak these and do all that, but it still has a lot of chalk. But when I first did that, it was like this, and mm. so. I could do another round. I just don't know if I will. Since yeah. These are more of something that you want to look clean. This is something you're just going to go and get, get dirty dirtier. the first time you yeah. use it. So, I don't know. I'll probably just list them as is. But, yeah, women's nine and a half. And then these are a men's nine. All so, right. Yeah. His and hers North Face uh -oh. boots. Oh, did I have this on here? Some of these boots don't fit unless they're on the <laughs> top shelf. But I have a lot of boots. So we got these Timberland men's. This seems like a work boot, it says Timberland Pro. Yeah. I definitely think it's a hard toe. Oh man, the tag's a little bit faded. I know I saw the size tag on these though. So Probably on the other one. Issue. Oh yeah, it's on this like paper tag. Sorry guys, I have to tell you what size <laughs> they are. Oh, these are a size 14. Wow. All right, so yeah, really nice pair of Timberland work boots if you need a size 14. And um, these, I believe, are the Jordan ones, I think. So we'll see. They're not in the best shape, but I don't think that matters necessarily. So, yeah. Oh, these are a size uh, nine and a half men's. And like, I know that they remake these all the time. So these are from 2009. Mm. All right. All right, then we got a couple more on this side. Yeah, so these are the ones, like these last two rows are pretty much the ones we've had in our home, but I don't think I've showed you before, but <laughs> I just cleaned them. So I decided to show you guys. Yeah. So if you've seen them, sorry about that. They should actually be getting listed this week, though. This one, the sticker's covering. So these are Birkenstock size 38, which is a women's 7, men's 5. Just some black clogs. And yeah, not bad shape. And then we got some Doc Martens. Chris did some magic on these. They still look a little crackly yeah, on the they leather, were... but I honestly, I think that adds character. You should have seen them before you did anything to them. They I were, didn't even photograph. I should have. They yeah, were. Yeah, they were really, really weird looking. Needed some deep <laughs> moisturization. Yeah, for sure. All right, so yeah, that's one whole rack. I think that's what we counted 88 pairs of shoes. And I think I might have grabbed one pair of shoes from my kid's room at them. So, then we had some books that I grabbed at the Once Upon a Child yesterday. These are U3. These usually sell. I just noticed the footbed was kind of popping out. It's good now. Um, these uh, usually sell th 40 to $50 for me. These ones do have a little bit of, I don't even know what you would call that. Like, can you see the crackling almost on them? And this has happened to tons of bugs that I've sold. Mm. People still buy them like this. Is I that called crazing? Know. What's crazing? Maybe. Okay. I feel like that might Something be what it's on called. on rain boots where it gets like foggy and stuff. So. Yeah, that happens. People still buy them. People use these to play in the mud in and mm. work around their ranches and stuff. So. Farm boots. Yep. And then these uh, really nice hunter boots. These are a youth four, I believe. Five girl. US four boy, five girl, UK three. I'll have to look those up because yeah. it might even actually be a small women's size then. But yeah, really, really good shape on those. The super bright pink. Yeah. Uh, these are some Nike ACG hiking boots. I like this old, yeah, cool Nike boot. These are nine and a half women's. So I can't remember. I sold something like this before, and it sold really fast and for like fifty bucks, I think. I don't know. Hopefully, they'll sell for something like that. These were a retail arbitrage item, so definitely not a thrifted one, but. 
I didn't want to leave them. So I got them. Um, probably won't make a huge profit, but yeah, some Sorrel. I think these are the Joan of Ar Arctic. I can't remember. They might have been the soul something style, and I don't <laughs> even know where the other oh, is. Size 4 youth. But yeah, those will probably, these retail for 109 even the youth sizes. I think I can get at least 60 to 70 for those. And then these are just another pair of Solomon, like a hiking boot. And the tag's a little faded. They're men's 11. So yeah, again, dusty, some bumps and bruises, but the soles and tread are in great shape, which is what really matters. All right, another retail arbitrage item. These are some little kids' Uggs. They're like an olive green, and they are a size 12. I'll probably get 35, 40 bucks out of those. And these little baby Nikes always sell about 25, 20 to 25 for me. And I have three pairs of these, but they're different sizes. We actually, these are retail arbitrage. I actually got probably 20 something pairs total between three sizes. So we have toddler five, six, and seven, I believe. They're just bogs. Oh, shark uh, print. Shark, yeah. So with them being basically new without tag, actually they have a tag, they just don't have a box. New without box. These retail for like 80 bucks. Um, I usually sell used ones for 35 to 40. So I'm hoping closer to 50 or so on these. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I might list, I mean right now people probably aren't looking so much for these, but I'm okay if we have to hold them for yeah. months. We like having a little bit of these multi-quantity retail arbitrage items here and there. Um, so I might list them at like 45 to 50 now and then maybe bump it up even a little bit mm -hmm. when it gets to the time where people are actually buying this. Because, yeah, bogs themselves are probably all on clearance right now on their site. So it'll probably be hard to move them right now. Mm -hmm. uh, these are just some kids A6 size 11. Probably get 20 to 25 for those. These are some Under Armour basketball shoes. I believe this is like a women's size six and a half. I don't know. I just feel like this is not going to get bought by a woman. So I might have to change them into a U size by like looking up Under Armour size chart and then just market them as like a youth kids. All right, and then these are little play shoes. These will probably sell around $30 or so. Yeah, if you don't know this brand, definitely learn it. If you play. want to pick up kids shoes. Yeah, these are what their case. soles always look like. They're just uh like once you learn it, you'll you'll mm -hmm. pick them out easily. They're just our they're kids really love good them. Kids shoe, yeah. They're comfortable. They're durable. Easy to put on. They retail for a lot. They resell for a good amount. And right now they're reselling really well because I think that play is like in some sort of like lawsuit with somebody that like copied their designs or something. Oh. And so they haven't added anything new to their site in the longest time, and they're also like not running sales or anything. So hmm. everything on their site is like 60 plus dollars. So yeah, if you have them resale, people are buying them. Um, there is a Facebook buy, sell, trade page for those as well, where people are paying good money for them. Uh, so this is the brand Drew. This is just like a comfort shoe. These have done well for me. So I keep picking them up. These are nine and a half wide. I think I can get about 40 plus shipping out of those. Um, these are some Jordans. Youth five and a half. I don't remember what the style name was on these. They're a little dirty. I don't know if I'll clean them up or just sell them as is. Right, got some dance goes. I liked this style. I liked that little detail right there. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and the soles are in really good shape and everything. These are A size. Yeah, 41, which I think is like a nine and a half to 10. So I'll probably get about $50 or so on those. And we got some Sunita clogs. These looked almost unworn. What print would you call this? I asked Chris if it looked like a giraffe print. Google Lens wasn't really much help with me on it these. It looks re reptilian though. Yeah, like it's got so scales. Or, 
I don't know. It's it doesn't look like cheetah or anything though, right? Like right. It looks like a. It honestly looks between a giraffe, like you were saying, and a snake. I don't know. Yeah, I did see somebody call them snake, but I couldn't find like an actual listing. So I don't know. These are some men's Skechers like work shoes. They do have that slip resistant bottom. Mm. These are a ten and a half. They'll probably sell around twenty five, thirty bucks. Got some little kid vans, size thirteen. Those will probably sell again, 25, 30. Joseph Seabell, I do like to pick up some of theirs. Some of the styles I don't like, but these are cute. I've sold this exact pair before. I can't remember for how much, but probably around 30 to 40 on these. These are a size 41. These are some kids' Uggs. If these don't sell, I'm just keeping them for my son, so I was okay buying them. They're in really good shape, but they're not like the boots and stuff that what like most people are looking for with Uggs. So these are a youth size one. Another pair of Sanita clogs. These are pretty cool too. I like Mary Jane style. This is kind of like a T-strap. So those are cool. Uh, size 39. Okay, got these little baby Jordans. Size three. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and then... These are Bernie Mev, which I've never sold before. I feel like I heard people talk about them, but like the comps look bad to me. Mm. But these were cheap and I wanted to give them a shot. Plus they're like the rainbow color. So yeah. I'm sure somebody will buy them. And we just sold a pair of those of, Nikes that had that kind of wo yeah. woven strap. They look like comfortable, like stretchy and almost have like a Rothy's type feel to them. But all right these are something i'm excited to list so these i've sold before for like a hundred bucks uh these are the roma leos they're like a weight training or tra like weight lifting type shoe okay i think yeah these soles are like really i don't know you could just if you could feel this right now you'd be like man that's a nice shoe <laughs> So that's just like how I found the first pair. I was like, the first time I found them, I found them at Goodwill and they were like priced at 20 something. And I was like, oh, that's way too much. But I was like, they feel so nice. So I'm gonna look them up. And I looked them up and I was like, holy crap. Yeah, I'm definitely getting those. <laughs> and I found these at Play-Doh's um, last week. So I'm excited to get those listed. And then these are some Under Armour golf shoes. Not Under Armour. <laughs> New Balance golf shoes. I feel like you've made that same mistake <laughs> calling New Balance Under Armour. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so these are a little dirty on the bottoms, but otherwise look like they've probably been worn once. They are a men's 15, and they're a 4E, which is like super duper duper wide. So yeah. if you have a man in your life with some size 15 Who's a giant, extra wide yeah. feet, we got some shoes for you. If Who you likes like golf? golf. <laughs> yeah. These are Allen Edmonds, so I know people talk about this as like a great brand, and obviously I bought these, but like one pair I had sold really fast and for a good amount. The others have sold off slowly. I still have a couple pairs listed, but these were like in such good shape I couldn't mm. leave them. Uh, they are only a men's seven and a half, which probably isn't the best size, but yeah. These feel really, really nice. These shoes retail for like $400, so I could not leave them. We got some Timberland, like a fisherman type sandal. This style sandal just does well in general. Uh, they're a men's 12, hoping for 35, 40 bucks out of those. These are Adidas something. They do have this 3M on them. I don't remember the comps. I looked them up and it was good enough for me to pick up. That's all I remember. 3M, like the you know, brand? Yeah, it is the brand. So I thought that was weird, but people were still buying these shoes. So. <laughs> Yeah. Is this like a tape salesman's shoe? Scotch light. Scotch? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's so, a weird crossover. Yeah. <laughs> and we got some Merrill Bear, no, All Out Crush. They seem like a trail shoe. But those will probably sell around 35 40 More Skechers. <laughs> Can you tell I like these? I don't even own a pair for myself, but I like to sell them. Uh, navy Blue Size 7. These are some Sorel, like a sandal wedge. These are pretty cool. I don't think I could wear them because I'd trip, but they're <laughs> women's six. I don't remember what comps were on those Sorels. 
Uh, these are footprints by Birkenstock, so they're a size 41. I don't know if I'll list these as men's or women's. I don't know, what do you think? I mean, a 41 is like a women's, like that's what size I would wear, so like a 10, nine and a half, ten, 10, which would be like a men's eight or something, but that style to me is more like of a manly style, I don't know. Hmm. I would list one yeah. way and then change it after a month. I'll have to Google after after it and see what they call it, but. Yeah, we like, have heard people, well, we have in the past both, even, like both, do both. both. So I have two listings for the same pair, <laughs> one in men's, us. one in women's. But yeah, it would, for it would just be like eight pairs because we list them on four platforms right. or whatever. You guys already saw the Allegrias, Allegrias, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Nike Air Max. These I think we're gonna go for like fifty to sixty. Oh, these are a size nine, and I will clean these up before listing. These are ones that I haven't cleaned yet. Um, got some Hoka with the Vibram soles. A little bit of wear, but honestly not too bad. Those are nice looking. Yeah, they even have their insoles. They're a size 13, so I sold this exact pair with the same amount of heel damage and a missing insole for like 50 bucks, so I'm hoping for more on these. These are just mucklucks, which I would normally not pick up, but these were new without box and they were only a couple dollars so i grabbed them i think they'll sell for like 20 to 25. we got some reebok crossfit i love selling reebok crossfit these are men's size 14 lots of bigger shoes today so we mm -hmm. might be holding on to some of these for a while these bigger sizes do tend to sit longer but usually when they sell they sell for a good amount because that person yeah. has a hard time finding shoes that they can fit in these are dirty. I'm going to give them an oxy bath, but otherwise, um, they are a men's eight. And I can't remember the comps, but they were really good on this style. Right, we got some foam posits. These are a six and a half youth. And I did not even look up comps on these because they priced them as kid shoes and they were just cheap and I knew that they were good. So <laughs> I just grabbed them. Well, they are kid shoes, six and a half years. But <laughs> normally like anything Nike or Jordan gets priced up to like 15, 20 bucks and these were not even close. Right, we got some Crocs, size U3. Those will probably sell around 20 or so. These I just pulled from my son's room because he outgrew them. So not a really a thrift find or anything, but in case anyone's looking, I'm gonna just show them to you. <laughs> These almost always sell in a day or two after I list them. And we got some little baby red Converse size six. Those sell right around 20 bucks. Another pair of Jordan. Don't ask me what the style name is. <laughs> uh, size five and a half youth on those. And last but not least, another pair of Jordan. These are Carmelo Anthony ones, I believe. The Mellow. So, mm. yeah, not too bad. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is what we're gonna be working on over the next week. We're actually uh, about to head up to Denver, um, hoping to source a bunch of new stuff because the kids are with grandma for the weekend and we're gonna go spend our anniversary, which is actually next week, we're gonna celebrate it this weekend up in Denver, um, hitting up a bunch of thrift stores, like every normal couple, right? <laughs> so we will have these all listed up on eBay over the next week, or maybe a little bit longer than that, but we're shooting for over the next week to get all this stuff listed, to continue our experiment with listing to eBay. It seems to be going well for us, uh, listing to eBay first, and then cross-listing after a couple weeks, anything that hasn't sold yet. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this haul video, if that's what it's called. I don't even know, but uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.